These are the five best vlogging cameras that you can get for under $500. Now these cameras are in no specific order. Each camera is very unique and has its special reasons as to why it made this list. So make sure you stay tuned for all of them to figure out which one is gonna be best for you. You gotta just press record. Hey guys, my name is Normal with Think Media and our first camera is the Sony A5100. You can get this camera used for under $500 on Amazon. So check the links in the description and make sure that you scroll down to find the used current prices to get the best deal on this camera. Now I actually bought this camera back in 2017 for the purpose of vlogging just fun moments and memories with my wife. And I remember at the time doing a lot of research and I was looking at buying this camera or possibly something like the Canon G7X. And the main reason that I decided to go with the Sony A5100 is because I watched a lot of comparisons and I thought that the microphone built into the Sony A5100 sounded a lot better than the Canon G7X. That being said, this camera does not have a mic jack or a cold shoe to put a shotgun microphone on there because you just can't do that. However, I found that the audio is totally acceptable for these YouTube vlogs. On this camera, you are able to change some lenses. And I do think that Sony has some amazing cameras out right now. So investing in their E-mount lenses is a great idea if you want to upgrade eventually to something like the Sony ZV-E10. Now this camera shoots in 1080 HD. However, I found that it was a lot sharper than my previous camera, the Canon T3i. So with that full HD image, you are getting a very sharp and clear video out of it. Another thing that I love about this camera is it has amazing auto focus. So when you're vlogging, you are very easily able to keep yourself in focus. You do get really good colors out of this camera as well. And when it comes to low light, this thing does really good for the price. And of course you get this flip up screen, which just kind of goes onto the back like this, but this is so handy when it comes to vlogging. Having that flip up screen to see yourself is a must for these vlogging cameras. You're also able to shoot in 1080 60 frames per second to get some really cool slow motion on the camera. Now, as far as some of the cons go, I already mentioned that this does not have a mic jack, but you're getting some pretty good audio quality from the camera. However, you need to make sure that you remove these little straps when you buy your camera, because if you shake your camera around, you're gonna get some rattling that you do not want in your video. And luckily that's really easy to do. One thing that I noticed happened over time with my lens is it became a little bit wobbly. So if I shake it like this, you're gonna hear some noise. Now, typically this never shows up when I'm actually vlogging on this camera. And I think it's because I've definitely dropped this camera a few times. It doesn't have the best build quality. So if you are going to pick up this camera, make sure you take care of it. You don't wanna just throw it around and throw it in random bags. You wanna keep this thing in good conditions to make sure that nothing loosens up and then starts to rattle on the camera. Again, I do believe this is just because of my specific lens because of how much we use this camera and just threw it around. It's, uh, it's been through the paces. You're a warrior. You're strong, you're beautiful. You're... Too far, too far. Now I recommend the Sony A5100 for the beginner. If you don't really know how to set audio levels and you don't wanna worry about a microphone and you just wanna pick up a camera that does it all, this could be the camera for you. You have the flip up screen, you have the autofocus, the colors are gonna be great and the microphone built into the camera is not bad. So you can just shoot on this thing and upload it straight to YouTube. Of course, you probably wanna edit it first and then you can upload it to YouTube. The second camera that I want to mention comes in at $200. This is kind of a specialty camera and this is the DJI Osmo Pocket Camera. Now the two main features about this camera is one, it's super tiny. You can literally throw this in your pocket and take it with you wherever you go. The second thing is it has in this built-in gimbal. So you can walk around and get really steady shots with this camera. Now surprisingly enough, this camera can shoot 4K up to 60 frames per second. And when you combine that with the built-in gimbal, you can get some really cool cinematic shots on this tiny thing. If you wanna shoot ultra slow-mo, you can shoot in HD at 120 frames per second. There's also some really cool features built into the camera that you can use like time lapses. So if you wanna get a cool time lapse for your vlog, you can do that in the camera. Now you can hook up an external microphone, but you need to get an adapter for $40, but I think it's worth it because this camera is so cheap. Spending that little bit of extra money for an external microphone makes a lot of sense. Now the cons of this camera is you're not able to get that blurry background. On the Sony A5100, you can get that blurry background and you can upgrade your lenses over time to get an even blurrier background, but on the Osmo Pocket, there is no interchangeable lens 
lenses and you aren't really gonna get any of that shallow depth of field. Another con about this camera, because it is so tiny and the menu system is so small, it's kind of hard to control the camera. That being said, I definitely recommend hooking up your phone through the Wi-Fi connection and actually just controlling this thing through your phone. And you're also gonna wanna do this to get a nice video feed so when you are getting shots, you can see on your phone what it looks like. Like you could imagine, the battery on this camera is very small, so it's gonna die pretty quickly and you are gonna wanna bring an external charger, something like a phone battery charger, and you can charge this thing while shooting. Now there is a newer version out, the Osmo Pocket 2 that you can pick up. This is gonna be more expensive, coming in at $500 for that creator combo. I did find this used for $350. Now this thing has a touchscreen, a bigger sensor, overall just a better camera. And so if this is a camera that kind of excites you and you wanna spend a little bit extra money, definitely look into that Osmo Pocket pocket too. When it comes to this camera, I recommend this for the vlogger who is moving around a lot. Maybe they're walking and talking and they need to get that really stable footage, or maybe they just want to get some really cool establishing shots and mess around with that stabilizer. This is a really cool camera that's really affordable that you can start out with. Next up, we have the GoPro Hero 9 coming in at $400. However, right now it is on sale for $350. So make sure you guys are checking the links in the description. I'll try and keep those updated so you guys can get the best deals on them. So let's start off by talking about some of the pros with the GoPro Hero 9. First of all, you can shoot in 5K on this tiny little camera up to 30 frames per second. And if you wanna shoot 60 frames per second, you can shoot in 4K on this. If you wanna shoot some super slow motion, you can shoot in 2.7K or 1080, all the way up to 240 frames per second. If you're a traveling vlogger, this thing totally makes sense for you because it is waterproof, shockproof, dust resistant, all those things. This is really the travel camera. And also it's super lightweight and you you can just throw this in a bag, you can throw it in your pocket and get some really cool shots when you're out and about. Another thing I love about this camera is the stabilization. Now, another unique thing about the GoPro is the accessories that you can buy for this thing. Hey, Jacob, you just wanna hit this car on your neck and go hit this and hold it and you can do that. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You can also mount this thing to a windshield or a car if you wanna get a car vlog. Another one of my favorite features about the GoPro Hero 9 is you have this front facing screen. So when you are vlogging, you're able to see yourself and make sure that you are in the shot and it's all composed correctly. There's also some really cool modes on the GoPro if you wanna get some hyperlapses or time lapses with this camera. Now you might be asking, should I get the GoPro Hero 10? Because that is $500 and it is on sale right now for $450. If you have the money, I would say yes, get the GoPro Hero 10, however, when it comes to value for the price, I think the nine actually stacks up against the 10. I go into way more detail in my GoPro buyer's guide if you wanna click the link in the description to check that out and then see which GoPro is gonna be right for you. The first con about the GoPro is you aren't gonna get the shallow depth of field. So you're not gonna get the blurry background. Everything's gonna be in focus. Also the built-in microphone on this GoPro isn't the best. It is usable, but it's not really the best audio quality when it comes to shooting YouTube videos. This is a test to see how it sounds on the built-in microphones on the GoPro. Now to get good audio, you are going to need the media mod and then you are going to need a shotgun microphone and an extender to boost up the shotgun microphone so it doesn't make its way into the shot because this is such a wide angle. So if you're vlogging and you really need that crispy audio, I definitely recommend going that way. Another thing I don't love about GoPro is their colors. I definitely recommend shooting in the flat picture profile. This is gonna give you a bit more dynamic range. It's not gonna be super contrasty. It's not gonna be oversaturated. And then when you are editing, you're just gonna have to add a little bit of contrast and a little bit of saturation. On the GoPro, you can't change lenses like you can on the Sony a5100. However, you do have this front element lens cover that you can replace. And I actually do recommend buying the GoPro 10 lens because it is much better than the one that comes with the nine. For $20, you can get the one that comes with the new GoPro 10, and this is gonna be water repellent and scratch resistant. Overall, if you're a vlogger who goes outside a lot and you're shooting in nature and you can't pack a big camera, this makes a lot of sense, especially if you're gonna be in places where this thing might get wet or dirty, I definitely recommend going with this camera. Next up, we have a camera that is not necessarily for everyone, but for me, this camera really excites me for the price range and for what it can do. And this is the Panasonic Lumix G7. If you look for this camera on eBay, you can find this anywhere from $400 to $450. Now make sure when you are looking on eBay, you're finding a camera that comes with a lens. You wanna make sure that you buy this with the lens because this camera, you can change lenses if you want to. What's unique about this camera is you're able to 
shoot in 4K and it looks really, really good. If you were just going for the highest quality video, this is probably the camera to go with. The 4K looks really good, the colors look great, and overall you're getting a great image. This camera does have a headphone jack so you can plug in a shotgun microphone and you do have that flip out screen so you can see yourself as you're vlogging. On this camera, you're also getting a viewfinder that you can look into if you're outside and it's really bright. You can look into this and then see your screen just fine so you can set your exposure and your shot up properly. And when it comes to low light, this camera does a great job and definitely makes the top of the list when it compares to low light on the other cameras. Now let's talk about autofocus. This is one of the first cons. It does have autofocus, it's just not super reliable. This camera does have face detection. So if you are gonna sit down in front of your camera like this and record vlogs where you're just looking into the camera and you're talking and you're not moving around a whole bunch, it's gonna do just fine. However, if there's a bunch of people in the shot and you're moving the camera around, getting all sorts of different shots, it's not gonna be super reliable. It does work, but it's definitely not the best. When it comes to the Sony a5100, that autofocus system is gonna be a lot better than this one. Now, like I said earlier, if you're going for the highest picture quality, then you can just manually focus this camera and get some really good shots. And then when you are talking to the camera like this, you can turn the autofocus back on and it's gonna be able to keep you in focus. So this camera, I definitely recommend to the vlogger who also maybe wants to shoot music videos, skits, more higher production videos on top of their vlogs. Or maybe you just wanna make vlogs that have a higher picture quality to it, are a little more cinematic, and you're okay with manual focusing, then this camera definitely is for you. Next up, we have the tried and true Canon M50. Now on Amazon, this is used around $550, but if you go onto eBay, you can actually get this under $500. Now specifically, I'm talking about the Mark I, not the Mark II, because the Mark II is a little bit more expensive and I don't think you need it when it comes to vlogs. One of the pros about this camera is that it is mirrorless. So if you compare it to something like the SL3 or any other Canon DSLR, this camera is gonna be lighter and it's actually gonna perform a bit better. This camera can shoot in 4K, though I don't recommend it because it crops. We'll talk about that later, but as far as it goes in 1080, this is a fantastic camera. And most of us who are vlogging and just uploading to YouTube, we're doing it in 1080 anyways, and this camera has a great 1080 image. Now, my favorite thing about this camera is the Canon color science. You're just gonna get beautiful images straight out of this camera when you are vlogging. You also get a mic jack on this camera so you can have really good audio for your vlogs, and you're also gonna get that flip out screen so you can see yourself. When it comes to autofocus, the M50 is fantastic, and it's definitely gonna to keep you in focus and you can shoot video all day long and not really have to worry about your shot being in focus. One of the great things that Canon does with their cameras is their LCD screen. So you're gonna have a great LCD screen that is bright, it is sharp, and you're gonna be able to see things really nicely. With this camera, you are able to change lenses as well. However, you need to keep in mind that there aren't as many lens options right now. They are gonna be building out more lenses for this camera. One of our favorite lenses to get for this camera is the Sigma 16 millimeter F1.4. That's gonna give you a super blurry background and a wide field of view, which is perfect for vlogging. Now really the main con with this camera is that in 4K it crops and you also lose your autofocus, which this is totally fine if you plan on picking up a camera to shoot in 1080 and edit upload in 1080 anyways. Cause honestly in this price range, most cameras are gonna be 1080 HD anyways. And the computers that we're using sometimes can't handle the 4K files. So shooting in 1080 makes a lot of sense for vloggers who are filming a lot of stuff. Now, who do I recommend the M50 for? I would say most vloggers. If you're not gonna be running around travel vlogging, getting the camera super dirty, the M50 is just reliable. So many people use it. It has an amazing look, amazing colors. And if I was buying a camera, this is probably the camera that I would buy. Or I would get the G7 if I wanted to be fancy and shoot some short films and stuff. But when it comes to just autofocus, vlogging, sit down content, the M50 is super reliable. Now, if you're vlogging on YouTube, I definitely recommend investing in a good microphone as well. So you can click on the screen to check out the best microphones for YouTube, and I'll see you guys in the next video.